And I do believe uh, the moment we've all been waiting for is the unveiling of the book. Aditya Bhatt, if you could help us with that. Mr. Khan, we'd like you to do the honors. Radha Kapoor, the next generation entrepreneur. If you're here, also Mr. Rana Kapoor's daughter, she should come on the stage as well. We need to give the videographers a chance as well. All the still photographers, please sit down. Kansab, you can also sit down and Mr. Dhuth and Mr. Kapoor. I believe what SRK is to entertainment, RK is to banking. And um, you've got this little tete-a-tete. -tete. Mr. Kapoor wants to fire some rapid-fire questions towards you. Mr. Kapoor, over to you. I thought we were going to have some warm-up speeches. Yes, we could start with Mr. Dhuth as well. Mr. Dhuth, you can start. Mr. Kapoor has handed it over to you. It has been my proud privilege to talk to you when my family friend, Shah Rukh Khan, is here. I would say, Shah Rukh Khan, just not a family friend, he is just as a brother here, and video con we have started with this is inspiration, and I can always say that Shah Rukh Khan is also owner of video con too, and that's why. He comes over here. Otherwise, such a difficult time. He is so busy, and it is impossible to find Shah Rukh Khan like this over here in a such a good mood. And always busy, always uh, doing with the film. But Shah Rukh, we are one of you. We are your heart. You are also our heart. I am saying so much that people are listening to you, not listening to me. Thank you so much, Mr. Dhut. Over to you, Mr. Rana Kapoor. Thank you very much. Uh, this uh, evening is uh, rather special for an uh, extra special reason. Because it's not just about the uh, movie industry and the media and entertainment industry. It's about uh, contribution. It's about the contribution that leaders can make towards uh, Indian business. I'm very happy to report in my uh, presidency, I think Mr. Venu Gopal Dhut spoke about that in my presidency in SHM. And this is one of the reasons why we are here. That we must, we must celebrate the movement of Indian business. And I look at uh, Shah Rukh Khan differently. Everybody looks at him as a super artist, which he is, super creator as he is. But my only equation with him is as a creative entrepreneur. How somebody like him can drive the future of creative entrepreneurship. How he can do design, innovation, creativity, and entrepreneurship. I call it DICE. I can't think of a better entrepreneur than him because he's done the uh, DNA. He's built the genetics of the industry. But how that transforms into building a business, building an outstanding business, which I know he can, whether it's called Red Chilies, or whether it's called VFX here and there, and with the sports apparatus that he's built, been able to build successfully. The beauty of his uh, leadership 
which is why I requested my friend Venugopal Dhut as my past president and my mentor in ASOCHAM to ask SRK to be there before I, you know, demit office. The fact of the matter is that how do we catalyze entrepreneurship? It's not only the Prime Minister's mission, it is also our collective mission. Sharuk represents in my judgment, in my assessment, and uh, even my daughter who's joined, uh, thank you very much, Radha, for being here. She just came back from a polo match in Delhi. <coughs> but to come to the point that we must think of design, because everybody is thinking of Make in India. What is Make in India? Make in India is a supposition about manufacturing. How can we convert that to design? How can we convert that to innovation? How can we convert that to creative industries, creative platforms? And the I is the ICE, which is how to convert that to innovation. In my judgment, there's no better role model in the whole nation than Sharu. So I am very pleased that in my two and a half years as Asachem president, I've tried to make a little bit, uh, you know, shifts here and there. Uh, it's not been stratospheric, it's not been tectonic, but uh, the fact of the matter is that it's made a little difference because the new government has uh, listened to some advice that my leaders and I have been able to like publish and to be able to follow. And I think it's making a slow shift because the gears in India change very slowly, slowly, slowly. The fact is, who can be a role model for creative entrepreneurship? Venu Gopalji did that through Vidyacon. He built an apparatus which uh, was the first most indigenous. It could have been Samsung, it could have been Sony, it could have been like better. And India, I think it is equally good, if not better, right? Second to that, I, uh, person who was uh, Sharu's neighbor, is uh, eight years younger to me. He used to be in a place very close to my home in Hoskas. I used to live in a place called Hoskas in Delhi, and he used to be very, very close. And once I spoke to him on Valentine's Day two years ago, <coughs> when he and I had a nice drink and nice kebabs, that the fact of the matter is that uh, we used to go to three cinema halls, Kamal Mahal, Kamal and uh, Sudarshan and uh, this one cinema hall I don't want to talk about is Opal. But that's where we got our energy, right? The fact of the matter also is how do you create leaders like him to catapult, not just through movies. And I told him one day that how can you build Red Chilies into India's single biggest studio? Because he has the brand equity, he has the talent, he has the mental ability to be able to create the intellectual property that can be transformational, that can uh, catapult, that can catapult, in my opinion, creative industries in India. A person like him, which is why I was very, very happy to be here, because Velo Gopalji told me that no better person than SRK, right? But SRK is not even tapping 10% of his talent. It's not about movies, it's about his business skills, because that's the only subject I have in common with him. <coughs> because the movies uh, he has to do till it, you know, next 40 years. But uh, when he builds a business, Red Chili's Entertainment, and when he says, SRK says to RK, that RK, yeah, listen, we can compete with Warner, we can compete with the best. Why be specific? We can compete with the best. To me, that's the super talent which is, uh, has to be unleashed. That has to create that energy, the positive energy, to be able to create a billion dollar enterprise, two billion dollar enterprise, five billion dollar. Why only should the Americans do it? Why only should the e-commerce uh, people do it? Why should only Alibaba do it? Why can't SRK do it? Today he has the content because uh, the models have changed so dramatically. The model today in media and entertainment is the most powerful, right? The content model, how do you transmit content? Through intelligence, through online, 
through mobility, which is the report that uh, you know Venu Gopalji and SRK and I've released today. What is the the fulcrum of this report? The touching point of this report is how do you create the intellectual property in India so that we are not producing movies which are only under crores to under crores, which chicken shit in the rest of the world, right? We have to create paradigms. We have to create disruption. And leaders like SRK can be the flag bearers. They can be like the torch bearers who can move the tectonic shift on being able to create new movies, movies with a difference. And why should not all the movies be shot in India? That's a different program. But to me, what matters most Everybody wants to listen only to you, right? <laughs> the business, because the business of Indian movies, ladies and gentlemen, I have to tell you, is a very pathetic business because it hardly makes money. It makes like a little bit here and there. Like It's like, you know, why can't we make it into one of the bestest businesses in our country? And that's where my you know, responsibility as the president of Asocham and my responsibility as a banker comes that how can I help leaders to build red chilies into global chilies, right? How can we create those tectonic shifts? How can we create that creativity of India? Like the Chinese have done, if you don't mind my saying so, the Chinese have collaborated despite the language disadvantage with Hollywood and they made very significant shifts, right? And they are maybe not making enough money, but the fact of the matter is they're bringing, building brand equity. So we need one or two, and there are not too many. I can not think of anybody because he's the best communicator in the industry and will continue to be with his good looks and with his intelligence because the IPR is, is in his mind. His IPR is like fantastic. His intellectual property is outstanding, you know. How can we create and build and this is the content of the report. I'm giving you a summary of the report that digital mov movies, online, because the only thing which is changing in the whole game, the whole game is changing. It's changing into online, right? When you see movies, right? It's called smart movies, right? So if somebody as super smart, as superstar, as uh, SRK can do it, why not? So to me, it's a very important moment. And I'm very happy that uh, Mr. Venugopal Dhut requested him to come at my event at Asachem in my presidency as uh, the national leader for the last two and a half years before a de debit office that we must create. And this is my humble request because there's so many fantastic people in this crowd. You know, the photographers, the you know, beautiful <laughs> announcers and the uh, lovely people. How do you make creative industries? Creative industries, because India is not about making cars and, you know, locomotives only. How to build creative industries? This is the business where we can make a stratospheric change with a leader like SRK. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Mr. Kapoor. Mr. Khan, I'm going to feel gigantic standing next to you, but I think you have a mic in front of you. We'd love for you to say a few words. While you're seated, you don't understand. I'm uh, thank you very much, and a very good evening to everybody. Thank you very much for having me at Asocham, and thank you, uh, Dut Saab, for calling me. And uh, <coughs> thank you, Ranaji, for uh, explaining to us uh, stuff that I really don't understand, especially the zeros and the billions that he mentioned. If I sat down to count the zeros and the billions that I may make one day, uh, that'll I be think 007. Double, yeah, th that's the only zero I understand. <laughs> but thank you very much for hoping and uh, believing. Apart from all that, I'll come down to that. First of all, uh, congratulations uh, to Asocham, nearly a hundred year old organization I'm made to understand, uh, built up with a lot of perseverance, love, and of course, knowledge of different industries. And this year, I think they've dedicated themselves to create a white paper, as they call it, or a uh, nearly a coffee table book because uh, here it is, uh, which kind of tells us the way forward for the media and the entertainment industry. So people in the media and entertainment Boniji is here, 
Sunil, my friend, is here, and I'm sure some other people I, I can't see. But uh, most of the people in the film industry look forward to leaders in the industry, in the respective industries, like Dud Saab, like Mr. Rana Kapoor, to show us the way, show us the path, because uh, sometimes um, creativity does overtake uh, the business angle of it all, so we don't understand. So I thank Asocham, I thank everyone involved with this white paper and everyone who is here on stage and all of you showing an interest in an industry which really uh, does form a core, one of the core industries in India. You know, when we talk about make in India, made in India, we talk about uh, the kind of stuff we do in this country somewhere, perhaps a little selfishly so or self-absorbedly so. I do feel the Indian film industry uh, does stand for something very specifically and beautifully made in India. It does uh, take us across borders, it tells people about our cultures, talks to them about our music, and uh, somewhere down the line spreads the word of what India stands for in its own sometimes mad, sometimes cool, sometimes colorful, and sometimes perhaps a little over the top way. So thank you very much for showing this interest. We all from the film industry on behalf of being someone on stage, uh, a very small part, a uh, little cog in the wheel of this uh, great film industry that has been going on for the last 100 years. I thank you on behalf of the film industry for taking time out, all you leaders, to tell us what is the way forward. I've known Dutsa for many years. Uh, his company for many years, like he said, I'm family, I'm part of it, and I wish I did. I wish I owned it, like he says, yeah. I wouldn't have to work so hard. <coughs> and yes, uh, perhaps we do work for pittances, we do work small time, perhaps we do things which are not as big as these wonderful businessmen who see the world from a different eye point uh, than we do. Uh, but we will learn from this. So thank you very much. Thank you for introducing me to the concept of dice, as Rana Kapuji said. Dice, right? Yeah. He says this, yeah, this is cool, so I understand. This this I understand. Dice, I understand in my own way. I, I just want... Dice needs to be elaborated. <coughs> I'll elaborate, yeah. I like girls to call me darling. D is for that. I, I want to be interesting to girls. C, I want to be really the coolest guy for girls. And E, I should have eyes so I can patow any girl that I want. That's the dice I understand. <laughs> and inshallah, one day, this dice will <laughs> make me earn the billions that you're talking about. <laughs> Well, thank you very much for having me over, and, and thank you, everyone, uh, for attending this function. And uh, I'm only too happy to come to functions like this because uh, I do realize the importance of uh, business leaders like Rana Kapoorji, Dut Saab, and uh, many amongst you uh, who show us the path. Uh, we all have been struggling for years to think of the film industry as an industry, be as organized, be as uh, uh, far-sighted, be as visionary as most of you in this room. And hopefully one day, we will get out of, uh, you know, when, when you are creative, uh, there are times and spaces where you do sometimes neglect the business. And perhaps we don't have the overview that all of you world leaders of businesses from India have. But it makes us feel very important, makes us feel uh, uh, extremely humble that you should consider us, like you said, a very small business of about 6,500 crores or maybe just about 7,000 crores, smaller even to television, where we all work hard my friends here, and we try to uh, uh, keep the culture going in our own um, happy way uh, through the Bollywood films, through the South Indian films, through the Punjabi films, through the Uriya films, through the Bihari films, through the Bengali films. And for years, uh, this has been going on. And we hope sometime that, yes, inshallah, one day, we will crack the international code in terms of business and viewership. And we can only crack it when organizations like Asocham and uh, leaders like Mr. Rana Kapoor, Dut Saab, so many amongst you, show us the path. So please do uh, help us, uh, explain to us the path to take so that uh, if we don't get the billions, at least we understand the, how many zeros are there in it. <laughs> so thank you very much uh, for this great evening. I hope you guys have a good dinner, have some wonderful drinks, and you have the most entertaining people with you, Dut Saab and Rana Kapoor Saab. So you don't need me for entertainment. So I, I'm trying to sound as serious as I can. But uh, God bless you, and thank you for having me. Thank you very much. Khan Sahib, now I'm going to ask you to stand up actually because he's really taken time off from a very busy schedule and you're going to go back to the shooting of Dilwale. Dilwale Dulhaniya le jayengi 87 times, like literally. So all the very best and thank you so much for being here with us this evening and uh, good night. We're not going to let him go, right? We, ha we have to, he's really <laughs> like, like, get away. Quick question, quick question. Uh, before Khan Sahib leaves, is there a question that the press would like to ask him? Uh, one question only. 
this is Sohail. Uh, as Mr. Rana Kapoor said, okay, you have that potential, you have that capability, but then I think so you are just 10 percent you exploit, exploited yourself in fact. Uh, what have you to say about this thing and uh, how much seriously are you going to take this thing? Please exploit me. <laughs> All the ladies of the world come forth and exploit me. I'm waiting to be exploited. I have 90 percent more to give. I, uh, you see, I try my best. Like I said, I have limited understanding of uh, uh, businesses and I am not ashamed to accept that. Uh, the visionaries like Mr. Rana Kapoor, they do understand businesses internationally more than I can. And I would like to remain in the creative space, but yes, whenever I get the opportunity with Mr. Kapoor, I spend time, try to understand, figure out how I can take the business of Indian cinema forward in our small ways. I think Boniji does that. All of us try our best. and. Uh, if we don't have leaders like this telling us how to do it, uh, we won't be able to do it. But I hope, yeah, that there is genuinely space for Indian film industry to the extent of 90% to take itself forward and rule the world. Not just me or Red Chili's or XYZ company. I think film industry as a whole in India, I think has a space to take itself 97% forward. And inshallah, in our lifetime, we'll be able to see that. I will congratulate you because you have done that thing. I think so. Ravan was one of the most expensive film you tried, actually. You know, I mean. Don't remind Boniji. Don't remind Boniji and me of expensive films, please. Thank you, Khan sir. Thank you so much. We know you have to get back to your film. Thank you very much for being here with us. I, ca I can't afford it till Yes Bank gives me a loan. <laughs> say yes to. Red Chili say yes to SRK. And how much? You have to say that. You can't just keep saying yes. <laughs> Are you giving it to me in the billions that you mentioned? <laughs> but you know, uh, this one uh, question I come back to. Because you know, everybody knows you in the media, in the intellect of the media and the film industry. The bestest part of Shah Rukh, which is uh, not a closely guarded secret, but uh, which can really make a transformational difference. If somebody like him creates India's biggest studio, and it's not about the Warner Brothers and the Columbia's and you know in Hollywood, uh, a man with his intellect, with his uh, intellectual capacity, with his entrepreneurship, and naturally driven by you know the talent, which spearheads that. If he can create an Indian studio, it'll become, it could become potentially a role model. So India needs a high jump and a long jump in entrepreneurship, in media and entertainment. I can't think of too many leaders, honestly, you know, who have the aspiration, who have the ability, who have the diversification and the uh, ability to manage teams. Because he manages sports teams, he manages even in Caribbean, right? <laughs> but the fact of the matter is, if he decides one day to be uh, at least 30% entrepreneur, that it can be the beginning of India's, you know, the Chinese have done it. How will you challenge Shah Rukh, the Chinese? Because the Chinese have learned from the Americans and they're becoming bigger than the Americans. Can you not do something for India like oh, that, which, will be, which can be disruptive, huh? which can is, be a paradigm. This is an open challenge to the Chinese. They understand this, you guys don't understand. So take the challenge and we'll talk about it. I'm going to challenge them. Thank you so much, uh, Khan Saab. It was lovely having you here with us. We know you have to get thank back you, to your you shoot. <coughs> Good night and... Uh,
मैडम आप हट जाइए अभी प्लेस में बहुत हो गया अभी यार हम लोग का फोटो चले गए उधर ही खड़ा करेंगे रुको यार पीछे सर वन सोलो अरे